Mandela called him the first freedom fighter on Robben Island. The Dutch called him Harry the Strandloper, but his real name was Altshamaho, and he lived in the Cape between 1625 and 1665. He was the chief of a Khoi Khoi tribe called the Garing High Corner, who were an outcast group that lived in the Table Bay, where they survived on what they collected from the ocean. He picked up the nickname King Harry when he got on board a passing British ship and sailed with them to the East Indies. On board, he learned the English language, and when he came back to the Cape, he was made postmaster for passing ships. Sailors would drop off their letters with Aotearoa on Robben Island, and when other ships came past, they would pick up the letters. When Van Riebeck came to the Cape in 1652, Aotearoa moved back to the mainland in order to establish trade between the Dutch and the Khoi Khoi. Because Aotearoa could speak English, he was made an interpreter between the two. The Khoi Khoi would trade livestock with the Dutch in exchange for tobacco and alcohol. One day, the Dutch swindled them in a deal, and in revenge, Aotearoa and a few other Khoi Khoi men took back their livestock. As punishment, Van Riebeck banished them to Robben Island, making them the first prisoners to be held there. After more than a year on the island, he managed to escape back to the mainland on a leaky boat. After more dust had settled, he was once again accepted back for his job as interpreter. Aotearoa's niece, Krotoa, called Eva by the Dutch, had quite a sad story. She worked as an interpreter and servant for Van Riebeck, and adapted well to European life. She got baptized and married a Danish surgeon called Peter van Meerhof. They had three children together, but after her husband was killed in Madagascar, life became very difficult for Kratoa. She sank into depression and alcoholism, which led to the Dutch banishing her to Robben Island. At the same time, she was also rejected by the Khoi Khoi tribe as a traitor. She was caught between the two groups, neither of whom wanted her. Today, Kratoa's legacy lives on. Interestingly, her descendants include Paul Kruger, Jan Smuts, and F.W. de Klerk. If you enjoyed this story, or be it a rather sad one, uh, please hit subscribe and put your comments below and like the video. Thanks very much.